Check out that beautiful sunrise. I just looked out the window and I said, darn, I, I gotta get out there and get a video of that. <clears throat> That's God's work. No other excuse for it but God's work. Uh, today I'm gonna show you a uh, 3D printed trailer that I've been working on for a while. I finally finished it up and uh, show you a little running video of how it handles. So I hope y'all enjoy this video. So here's the 3D printed trailer. Uh, I downloaded the files off Thingiverse and you can go down, download them and print your own 3D trailer. The only thing that's not included in the files is the cooler and the propane tank and the luggage rack. But they're on Thingiverse, you can find them. This is basically just a RC crawler luggage rack that I downloaded and downsized to it. And this is like a cooler Kind of like the igloo style in the propane tank and uh if you want a big luggage rack it actually has holes here but if you don't want to use those holes you can fill them in with body filler <clears throat> and uh you can actually dye this wood part to be a different color the the body of the trailer here is made with a pla that contains 25 percent wood which makes it sandable and you could even uh, stain it. I said dye, but you could even stain it to make it darker or put like wood lines in it or whatever you want to it. Actually, it smells like wood when you're printing it. it. Smells like burning wood when you're printing it. But uh, luckily I had everything I needed. I put a Enjora hitch on it. It comes with the uh, receiver hitch and everything. And it works, works wonderful. I have a link in the description for it too. And uh, the top comes off, so you can actually put stuff in there if you wanted to. Here's a little toolbox. The toolbox comes off. Top comes off. And uh, let's flip this thing over. Take a look at the bottom. It is a leaf sprung trailer. And this, this complete trailer right now is printed in PLA. I'm gonna mess around with some different filaments. Uh, I think your best bet would probably go with PETG. ABS might be a little bit too much for this tra trailer, but what I did is I printed the, uh, if you know anything about printing, I printed the boxes at 15% infill. I printed the tongue here. I believe it was like 75% infill, and I printed the frame and everything else on the bottom pr pretty much 75 or 80 percent infill and i had these tires they came off of uh one of my element enduro trucks and luckily i had enough hardware in the instructions on thingiverse it's actually i think it's in a german language some of the parts are but if you look at the uh diagrams you can figure out everything you know how it goes together and everything but uh, in the instructions, it shows you where to put everything. And it also tells you uh, uh, what size screws you're going to need. Yeah, it tells you what size screws you're going to need. Because there is a pretty good bit of screws in this trailer. It really don't look like it. But the time you, the time you get it all together. And you can even print this trailer on a small printer. My printer is like 150 mi uh, millimeters by 150 millimeters. And it printed it just fine. So uh, I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I thought I'd show it to you. Some of y'all that's interested in these trailers. I know I've seen a lot of them on YouTube and stuff. So that's how you do it. There's nothing to it. Just uh, print it. I include a link to my printer. Uh, I think it's a Flash Forge Adventure 3 version 2. It's a good printer. I think I give a little bit over 300 bucks for it. And uh, I really enjoy it. Well, I think that's it for me and our 3D printed trailer. You'll probably sit out on the trails more often. And I hope y'all enjoyed this video.